Hey, quick pickup video actually. This has a story, um, as is often the case with my little videos here. Um, not last Christmas, uh, or the Christmas... Actually, let's just say a Christmas long time ago, or something like that, I had asked my sister and now brother-in-law for some, uh, you know, Games Workshop stuff. And, um knowing that uh, they would be in town and that where you know close to where my mom lives um, they would be there's a games workshop and they could go there and um, you know be able to get these things if they so choose you know chose to get them for me for Christmas and what they ended up getting me what instead was gift certificates which meant I had to go to the store. Whatever, not a problem. At least I didn't think. See, I live in a different city than my mom does. And we used to have a couple, maybe two or three games workshops in the city. Uh, some of them have moved around, but essentially right now we only have one left. And it's a, it's, it's a distance away and you know, I could take the subway to get there. But, you know, that's an additional $6 on top of everything. So I was like, eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't go to that area very often. So, yeah, it becomes hard, you know, when you're, you're working Monday through Friday, often Saturday and Sunday, only have nights available. You don't know if you're going to be able to make it to the store in time before it closes, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it was one of those things that was, uh, if I was going to the area and I remembered <laughs> the gift certificates, I would pop in and get something. But there was one north of the city and I figured, you know what? Eventually I will go there. It's a giant mall. Um, I will, it's dry, you know, I can drive up there, free parking, you know, whatever. And that's in uh, Vaughn Mills, which is another city. But, like I said, I can drive there. Um, the one in the city that I'm in is actually almost on the same street that I live on, but way down the street, you know, way down there. I could drive to it, but where am I going to park? And driving in the city is, well, it's not fun. So, it would take me less time to go north of the city than it would in the same city I live in. And so that, that was my plan. Eventually I would go to this mall. And I did. I did go to the mall. In fact, I went, not this year, but last year, before Christmas, and I was like, awesome. Except the Games Workshop wasn't there anymore. It closed that location, and I didn't even know it. So, that left very few choices, places that I generally don't go left but I decided to since I you know had the weekend off this weekend rarity I took it off you know but I was gonna there was a few things that I needed to do and I needed to go to them one was way downtown like downtown downtown and then the other one was the game workshop which I would call midtown and I'm uptown but I figured okay I'm gonna do it I'm cutting across I was sort of mid midtown for another uh, event that I was going to it was a birthday party um, I figured you know what I will uh, cut across and stop in to the store on my way home so I did finally spent my my gift cards and some extra money unfortunately believe it or not in terms of dollars, I had $75 in gift cards. The total price of what I got was about $100, and I got a book and this little box. This was $60. Bucks. Look at the size of that. $60. But if this is the rules. You need this. Well, this is only half the rules. This is the rules for one army. And then, this is a model 
which I figured I wanted to pick up. I think he poops out little bugs. So he, he's like the mother, and then he poops out little ones. I think, something like that. I don't know. But uh, this is an army I have um, a lot of that I, I'm going to eventually start playing. But, yeah. First things first. This is the one that I do play. See, it would be another $60 for the book for them. Same size. I think it just came out. I don't know. If, I don't even know if it's available yet. But this I needed. So yeah, instead of getting you know a bunch of models and stuff, which is where the the real money is, because they continue on and, and stuff. I bought something that probably be replaced in another six years, and I'll need to. It'll probably be seventy-five dollars at that point. If the company's still around, I don't know. If you're into Games Workshop stuff, you know the problem with their pricing. This, a lot of work goes into this. This, I'm sorry, as much as you think, yes, they have the art, yes, they have the whole thing, and now they're hardcover, and they have the digital version, but you know what, the digital version is the digital version, and you just print the digital version, get the hardcover version. Yes, I know there's a bit more to it than that, but... Yeah, the price on the, these, when they were $25, $30, that was reasonable. I understand that as a supplement, you got to pay for the, you know, the printing and the book and all that kind of stuff, but I'm sorry. $60 should be your, your big thick book, you know, probably about five times the size of this. This, I don't care if it's hardcover or not. I do not care because you know what, these things get wrecked no matter what. And, um... Yeah. I paid $60 this one time just so I could see it. I don't know that I will ever pay $60 for another one of these. Sorry, Games Workshop, you're pricing yourself out of the market. I don't, I honestly, short of people who this is their only thing that they do as a hobby, I don't know who can afford your game anymore. Because honestly, if it costs more than $100, for these high-end games, you've priced your out, yourself out. And just to get the rules for your game, just the rules is over that. Just the rules. This, you know, army book and the main rule book, it's over $100, and you don't even have an army yet. And this one soldier was over 30 it was almost, it was $40. $40 for this. See where I'm going? Because, you know, picture you have an army, you're going to have like, I don't know, 20 things like this. I mean, you wouldn't, it's, every unit is, you know, special and does a different thing, but say 20 of that, that's, that's a lot of money. That's a hell of a lot of money to play a game. And you have to build these things. And you gotta paint them. And you gotta do all the work for them. Admittedly, you're paying for a model kit. Model kits aren't cheap and stuff. I get that, that's part of the hobby. Some people don't even play the game. Don't even play this, they just build these. Which is essentially what I do, I don't play it very much. But, yeah, I don't know. It is just, it's way too expensive. Way, way, way too expensive. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue with it. I got back into it, and I had some disposable cash to do it. And uh, yeah, I've I've built up a bunch of stuff. I've uh, got enough models. I just have to put them together to field a proper army. And I will tell you right now, it has cost thousands of dollars to get there. And I haven't even done the work yet. That's just thousands of dollars in... in to buy the plastic stuff to be able to play it so yeah I'm glad I enjoy building those things because if I didn't I'd, I wouldn't play this game nope no sorry Bob there are games out there same type of stuff half the price just don't have the recognition and, and as many players who play them and then there's some that are probably about a quarter of the price at most, and do have a lot of people who play them, and 
a lot of them used to be players of the same game, but they switched over because they it was cheaper. You know, you can play the game by buying, I don't know, maybe six, six to ten miniatures, ranging from, I don't know, ten to forty dollars, depending on what they are. And those are the only things you have to paint, instead of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little guys, and in my case, tens of hundreds. Thousands. So many little guys. So much paint. Good thing I got that airbrush for Christmas. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just a quick pickup video. Thought I'd uh, post something up here. Um, any of you guys who watch my channel, Into Games Workshop, uh, 40K, be it fantasy or even, you know, Lord of the Rings Hobbit, let me know. Post down below. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. I'm sure you, you probably have your own little rant videos on, on Games Workshop yourself. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that company stays in business with the practices they have. Um, but, hey, they're there, and we still seem to support them. So, I guess it's our fault. <laughs> Anyways, guys, until next video, take care. Have a good one.